Hey guys, Mike here. Today I got a review of the OtterBox Defender case for the iPad Mini. The Defender is uh, the most protective case that comes from OtterBox. Good protection all the way around, multiple layers of protection. We'll get into that. Uh, so the iPad Mini, of course, is the smaller uh, version of the iPad. It's very thin and very small. And you might wonder, like, oh, why do you want to have a you know big, thick you know protector on this? And this is, you know, different people want different types of protection. If you're looking to have a very rugged design, um, this is a good option for you. If you don't really want a whole lot to it, you know, maybe just a smart cover is good enough. But you know, for the people who are looking for a lot of protection, you know, this is a good solution for you. So let's check this out. So there's multiple layers here. Um, actually, three layers. One is this outside shell that can go on the top or on the back. Also works as a stand. I'll show you that here in a minute. And then next we have um, this kind of plasticky, um, you know, cover that goes over it. And this is a little bit different than what we've seen from other Otterbot or other uh, Defender cases. Um, the other Defenders had a little more of a rubbery style case. Um, this one's a little more plasticky. Um, it's kind of like a poly propylene or polyethylene case, similar to Apple's uh, smart case is probably the best way to uh, describe this. And then the inside here, we have a hard shell case, and this just snaps open with a bunch of little tabs here to get it to open up. And when you do want to open it up, you just get these little uh, sections in here. You just get your nail in there, or you get a quarter, you know, whatever. And then also there's a screen protector. So this will give you screen protection in addition to everything else. So pretty good protection all the way around. Let's do the installation. Now, this is the white model with the gray on it, you can see. But pretty easy to install. Just drop the iPad in. Uh, put the uh, cover on. Got some fingerprints on there, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. Just snap it all into place. Just make sure um, each of these little tabs here have uh, you know, a good snap all the way around. And then you want to put the outside cover on. Give you a little, a little look on it. Just give you an idea here what this looks like. Um, you know, so there you go. And there's little tabs that go through here, like right here. Uh, what you want to do is just make sure each one of those go in there so you get a nice tight fit. Then the home button comes up over. Has a little protection there. Just work it all the way around. Got a little cover here for the rotation sleep lock and a top one here. All right. And then this goes right in there for the uh, for the lightning port connector. So there you go. That's how it all looks installed. Pretty tight looking install. You know, nothing's really kind of flapping around, no flabbiness. Um, nothing really feels like it's going to come out of place. Um, so everything seems to fit pretty well. Let's take a little closer look here at all those little ports and controls. Down the bottom, um, there's a speaker microphone port, but also um, here's the lightning connector. A nice little small connector for that, but they'll keep the dust and dirt out of there. It's always nice, you know, so you don't get any uh, grime in there. If you happen to, you know, have any water splashing around, it'll keep it out of there. That's a very sensitive area over here on the top. Similar with the headphone jack. This just pulls open. You can put your headphone right in there. Pretty good size cutout. You should be able to accommodate a lot of different size of headphones, specifically the ones that go straight in. Angle ones might have to have a little bit of a, a larger angle or just angle it back right there. And then over here we have the top microphone. Here's the power button. Pretty good click on this. It's a little bit of the mushy side, but it is a solid click. And over on the side, another little door here for the rotation or silent, however you have it set up. And then lastly here, we have the volume up and down that you can uh, control. And then also the camera cutout. And over here on the other side, the home button, which we already showed you. And then up top, we have for the camera and the light and, and the light sensor up there. So pretty good protection all the way around. Again, keeping from grime or dirt, anything like that. And then also, um, you know, makes it all nice, easily accessible still. Now, the last part here I want to show you is this, uh, the shell that goes on. This can snap on and give you, you know, good protection here from the screen. So you'll be, um, you know, less likely if it spills out or something, it's not going to, you know, hit right up against the screen. This actually lifts it up so you can kind of flex it a little bit, give you an idea that um, it gives you a nice little protection, a little space between the case and the screen. Um, or you can just pop it off and you can use it as a stand. On the back here, there is uh, little grips to go onto the table. And uh, you can, when you're using it, you can just pop it on the back like so, all right? Or let me show you the stand options. Right here, this little uh, kickstand goes up. And you have a couple of angles you could do. This is uh, probably a common one you can use for typing, like this right here. Um, it says you can also move it up a little bit. It's a very slight angle difference. And then the other one here is you could use it for like viewing pictures or movies, 
or anything you might want to do with that. So pretty versatile case. It comes with a little built-in stand option that can attach right back on. Good protection all the way around of the screen, built-in screen protector, and also protects all of the ports and controls while giving you uh, three different layers of protection when you got it all hooked on. So there you guys here, a look at the OtterBox Defender case for the iPad Mini. All right, guys, this is Mike from the Sunny Great Mac. Thanks for watching.